Hey everybody, welcome to Red Monster Live, and I'm going to be here for the next half hour answering all of your questions, and you can ask pretty much anything you want. It doesn't have to be about character animator, uh, you know, you can ask me in basically anything. I'm here to answer your questions. Uh, what's my favorite food? Uh, my thoughts on the use of fragmentation in postmodern literature? Uh, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, whatever, whatever you want. So just ask in the chat over there, and uh, I will be happy to answer whatever you, you have. Um, I was made in Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator, and then I was brought to life using Adobe Character Animator. And later on in the show, maybe about 10 or 15 minutes in, uh, my friend Dave is going to show you exactly how this was done, how I was made, and how all this stuff came together to uh, create a live streamed show on YouTube. Or you could do it on Facebook or Twitch or, you know, wherever you want. But anyway, uh, let's ask some questions. Let's see what people are, are saying. Uh... Jeremy is asking, uh, what do I eat? That is a very good question, Jeremy. I really like to eat burritos. Burritos are my favorite. They are so tasty, so delicious, uh, but I really don't like the spicy ones. You know, you ever, you ever had one of those spicy burritos, right? And you're like, ah! Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't like those. But just carnitas, guacamole, black beans, no pinto beans, uh, you know, that sort of stuff. That's, that's my favorite. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, <laughs> uh, what is my middle name? Uh, John is asking. Uh, I don't have a real name. First name Red, last name Monster. That's that's it. No middle name, unfortunately. Uh, Kristen is asking, are you looking forward to NASA's big announcement tomorrow? Yes, yes. Uh, I hope that they have found uh, life on other planets. That would be really cool. Um, Maybe some of my brothers and sisters or stuff like that, they'll find. I don't really know what I am. I might be an alien. I might be just a, you know, gelatinous blob of, I don't know, whatever. But yeah, jello. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else do we have here? What are people asking? Oh, someone is asking, how do I take my coffee? Oh, uh, usually I do two creams, uh, one sugar. Um, that's, that's my usual way to coffee. And this coffee here is very delicious, by the way. Have you have you tried it? Here, wait, wait. Oh yeah, that that's that's good stuff right there. Okay. Uh, someone is asking. Oh yeah, like some of my mouse retaining shape for a long time. He's asking a character animator made a question. So when I say woo, woo, like that, uh, basically there's a. Uh, you can make your lips, uh, your mouth shapes in Character Animator be multiple uh, cycle layers animations. And I'll show you about cycle layers a little later. Actually, this whole project is gonna be available for you all to download later on um, for free. So you can use this and take it apart and see exactly how everything was made. So that'll be there. Uh, let's see, go ahead, ask some more questions, whatever you got. Yeah, coffee with the straw, it's delicious. I gotta love it. Uh, let's see. What other questions? Is there a Mrs. Red Monster? Uh, Sugarless is asking. Yes, yes, there is. Uh, yes, she's uh, she is also red. She is also a monster, uh, and she's quite beautiful. And I love her very much. Maybe we'll see her in a future episode or something like that. Uh, let's see what else. Um. Jerry K is wondering, would I really, really, really like to be three-dimensional? Uh, you know, three dimensions are overrated, personally, I think. Like, three dimensions, you have to worry about, you know, things like your belly. I, I have a very flat belly, very flat abs right now, and so that's, that's, that's really good. I don't really have to work out, you know. It's, it's nice to be able to not have to worry about that sort of stuff. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good point. Uh, but I uh, know I don't, I don't, I'm happy being 2D. Uh, let's see. Uh, what other things are live broadcast software for Windows 10? Um, uh, Phil is asking about. Yeah, so currently I'm on a Mac and I'm broadcasting this through Siphon and uh, using OBS, uh, which is a free downloadable program, open source that you can use to stream stuff. And a little later on in the show, I'll show you exactly how I've done that. Um, but yeah. Uh, it's Windows. Uh, we will have more Windows support coming up. We're working very hard on that. 
uh, and you'll be able to do some really cool tricks um, in future versions of Character Animator. So I will show you that. Um, Anshuman is asking, can you rotate your head on the Y axis with Character Animator? Uh, y axis, let's see, I think so. Uh, under your face properties, there's a thing called head tilt and you can really turn that up. Right now, mine is not set to that big, but you do have the ability to do that uh, if you wanted to. Um, so you can do things like rotation and tilt and things like that uh, if you want to. Uh, let's see what else is being asked here. Um, John is asking, he likes the fire flames, the sequences. Uh, so stuff like this. Oh no, oh no, ah! Okay, let's turn that off. Okay, uh, yeah, so I got those uh, from an animation studio called Pow, Pow Studios, I believe, P-O-W Studios, and they do video game uh, animations and sprite sheets and stuff like that. Uh, and they have all these ping sequence packs that you can download. I think some are available to buy and then some are uh, free online, so you can go check them out. Um, we've linked to them, I think, in a few of the shows in the past. Uh, so, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, someone is asking uh, what my favorite TV show is. Uh, I like The Bachelor, not going to lie. Great show. Uh, you know, Nick's, Nick's on a journey for love, and I'm just really interested to see where it takes him, uh, you know? It's uh, it's it's really it's really really fantastic, and you know the, the ladies they're not there to make friends, they're there for love, uh, and it's just you know Chris Harrison's a pro. It's uh, it's all no I I swear I really haven't been watching. I've just been watching over my wife's shoulder. Yeah, definitely not watching. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, someone's asking about my if I had a, any superpower, what would it be? Uh, well the nice thing about being a Photoshop file is that I can kind of draw any superpower I want uh, and then I would have it. So like if I want x-ray vision, I can just say, I've got x-ray vision and now I've got it. So I really can have any superpower I want. So it doesn't matter, anything. Uh, I would, oh, another example is like, like, you know, I can shoot fireballs. Like, you know, something like, oh, where is it? Oh no. My fireball's gone. Oh, I used to have a fireball. Well, I could shoot fire out of me and do fire there, but apparently I used to have another fireball. Uh, oh yeah, here it is. Hadouken! Ah, Hadouken! Yeah. So I've got that as a superpower as well. Uh, let's see what else. Anthony's wondering, what kind of deodorant do I use? I do not use deodorant because I do not have armpits or arms, but that's okay. I can just move around and do whatever I want. I don't need arms. Not, not important. Not, arms are overrated personally, I think, you know? That's what I say at least. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? Uh, John, <laughs> John is asking, do I have an arch nemesis? Uh, yeah, that blue guy, Stanny, can't stand him. You know the default guy when you open up Character Animator and there's that blue guy, new new puppet in Photoshop or Illustrator? That guy, he's just got the weirdest voice and his arms are like really weird and uh, he's just he's just, he's just a weird guy. He's always trying to hang out, call me, you know, like, hey, what's going on? And I'm like, oh, sorry, I already got plans, buddy. Uh, so, yeah, kind of don't 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 like that guy very much. He's my arch nemesis, I'd say. But the other characters are cool. Wendigo and I hang out a lot. Uh, let's see what else. Um, oh, Greg's wondering, are there Red Monster t-shirts available anywhere? Uh, yeah, you know, we've made a bunch of them and we've handed them out at conferences and some of the different places we've gone to, uh, like Adobe Max, uh, the NAB show in Vegas, uh, South by Southwest in the past. Um, I don't think we're going to South by this year. Uh, but yeah, um, if there's enough interest in that, I guess we could make some and sell them. Uh, I don't know. But uh, basically, if you find one of us, if we're doing a demo or something in a town or city or conference near you, uh, ask us. We'll at least have stickers of some sort. And sometimes we have uh, shirts as well. So 
Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? Um, uh, some people are at, oh, favorite video game? Oh, Pokemon Go. Love Poke love that Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Got to catch them all. Um, yeah. Uh, Pokemon Go, great game. I, I, pers people have told me that I'm an Iglybuff doppelganger. That I look a lot like Iglybuff. Personally, I think I'm more of a Tepig or Pig Knight. Uh, but that's, that's, that's my own, you know, feeling. But, uh, you know, I'm so glad they added the Johto 80 new Pokemon to it. I've just been, I've been catching them all. I've just been walking around, catching all the Pokemon I can. Uh, John is asking, what upcoming feature am I looking most forward to? Hmm. That's a really good question. Uh, I am looking forward to, hmm. What am I looking forward to? Hmm. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to, uh, to anything that, that allows me to do cooler stuff, like move around or, um, you know, uh, I don't know, make more things explode, uh, more, more explosions, basically. That's the, that, that is honestly the answer to most things. How you can improve them is more explosions. That's apostrophe explosions. That's, that's, that's my feeling on that stuff. Oh, Jeff Chin. Jeff Chin is here. Oh my goodness. Jeff Chin. Great to see you, buddy. Uh, Jeff Chin is asking <laughs> Venmo or PayPal. Mmm. That is a very good question. Hmm. Let me think about that one. Venmo or pay Let me put on my glasses to think about this one. Um, oh, these glasses are not very on very straight, are they? <laughs> Should have stapled those better. Uh, I would say, you know, I've been using PayPal mostly for uh, eBay recently, so I've been using that more. But I don't know, Venmo seems a lot cooler and newer, and all the hip kids are doing it. So I'm probably going to say Venmo just to sound like I know what I'm talking about and be cool. But yeah. Uh, hopefully that answers your question. <laughs> Dan Ramirez is saying Square Cash. Nope. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, what are people asking? Uh, someone's asking about the suggestions forum. Where is it? Uh, we linked to it a little bit earlier. It's adobe.com slash go slash ch underscore wish. And I think we talked about it in the last tips episode as well. So you can check that out and, and see what that's all about. Um, what else? What else? Uh, what are people asking about? A few people asking about uh, animate Adobe Animate CC and the differences between uh, Character Animator and Animate. Well, they're kind of two different ways to go about animation, right? I see them like After Effects too. I see them all as different tools in the toolbox. Uh, so you know, like you have a hammer and a screwdriver and a wrench and different th ways to get rid. You know, do the do different stuff. So I see, you know, After Effects uh, doing motion graphics and, and, you know, some of the keyframe based animation. I see Flash, or excuse me, <laughs> Adobe Animate uh, doing the same sort of thing uh, with, with keyframes and, and uh, you know, the, uh, lots of different things with the tweening and cool stuff that you can do there. And then Character Animator, I see more performance based uh, currently uh, and, you know, kind of dealing with Photoshop and Illustrator files and kind of opening up animation to, um, uh, a broader audience. So, um, you know, I think they're all kind of tools and you use them differently and you can use them kind of all together. Um, and in fact, one of the big ideas on our ideas board is people saying more integration between all three of those products. Um, and I think that's a great idea. Uh, you know, if we try to put everything together in one giant product, I think that gets a little too crazy. That's a nightmare from a user experience standpoint. Um, so as much as that sounds like a good idea, uh, you know, there's different things that people might want to do with a product and, uh, We'll, we'll keep doing what we're doing and listening to customers and seeing what they say and hopefully making the best product we possibly can. But thank you for your question. Uh, huh. Jeff is asking, who would win a karaoke battle between Red Monster and Scribbly? Oh, that is a very, very good question. Uh, if you don't know, Scribbly's been doing all of these awesome Twitch streams uh, using Character Animator, and uh, we're going to feature him in the next tips episode. Um but he would definitely win, absolutely. Although I do have some sick beats, I gotta say. Uh, you know, I, I have learned how to do, uh, you know, 
I my my go to karaoke song is "Forgot About Dre." Uh, it's kind of explicit, so I can't really sing it. Here. Well, I guess I could sing a little bit, you know. So what do you say to somebody you hate? Anyone try to bring trouble away? Rolls all things in a bloody way. Just tell your tape event W A. One day I was walking by with a walkman on, but I caught a guy giving me an awful eye. Strangled him off in the parking lot with his car cannot. I don't give up if it's dark or not. Hollering to me, trying to park a dodge, but I'm drunk ass. Right next to a humongous truck in a two car garage. Hopping out with two broken legs, trying to walk it off. Okay, bro, we're just going to stop there, but you get the idea. Uh, but yeah, I think Scribbly's got a better flow than me personally, if you ask me. Oh, okay, what else? What else? Oh, you know what? It's about that time. I'm going to ask Dave. If he can uh, kind of give us a behind the scenes of how this was all done in Character Animator, uh, and we'll come back and I'll ask some answer some more questions after this. But um, let's let's figure this out. So, Dave, take it away. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Red Monster. So, hey everyone, this is Dave uh, from the Character Animator team, and today we're doing a demonstration of um, uh, Character Animator live streaming. And so live animation kind of feels like a weird concept, right? Like animation is usually a very time intensive, uh, you know, process with a lot, very high layer of expertise uh, behind it. Um, and what we want to do is kind of open things up to people with Character Animator and uh, not only make it more accessible, but for, you know, people who are uh, more versed with traditional animation, really give them some new tools to do cool stuff like live animation and uh, some, some really interesting things. So, um, Right here, uh, what I've got is this red monster scene that I've created, and this guy is just a Photoshop file, and uh, I have named things a certain way. So left eyebrow, right pupil, ah, mouth, that sort of thing. And as I move my face around, and my eyebrows, and I blink, and all of that stuff, uh, red monster is responding to me and able to uh, react uh, to, to my actions. Um, and so I'm going to show you just a few things that I've done for this specific uh, live stream, um, and hopefully that's helpful in if you wanted to make your own uh, live stream or live show in the future. Um, and like I was saying earlier, all these files, this whole project is going to be available free uh, to download. I'll put it online later um, today uh, for all of you to see and download and do whatever obscene things uh, you want with it. Um, but let's go. So the first thing um, is let's just go behind the scenes and look at the puppet of um, of Red Monster. And so this is a Photoshop Photoshop file that I imported into Character Animator, um, and it just has things named a certain way. So because this thing, this group is named Head, and you'll see it's been tagged as a head over here, then when I move my head, everything in that head group is going to move as well. Um, one thing in particular for a live show is having these cool things called key triggers. And you'll notice uh, I have this folder called props and I have same called flamethrower, light bulb, exclamation mark, question, heart. And these are all these little expressions that I can trigger with the keyboard. So if you look really closely, I don't know how well this is gonna show up over the live feed, but I've taped these little um, symbols of the different things that my character can do. Um, and so when I press these, so this is a lot easier, instead of having to remember that the three key is what does the question marks, um, I can just press the three key and I you know, will do that particular symbol. Um, so basically key triggers are a way to hide or show certain artwork layers within uh, your character animator file. Um, and so that's a really nice way to add some elements of surprise or bring in some interesting um, pieces into your animation. And particularly for a live show like this, uh, the more key triggers you have, kind of the more surprises you can have as well, and it keeps things kind of fun and fresh and interesting. Um, so when like you know a fireball comes out or hearts appear over my head or you know different eye expressions, that sort of thing, it just keeps things visually interesting. I think I have 20 key triggers for Red Monster here, um, and that's really helpful um, to kind of keep things keep the flow interesting. Uh, let's see what else. Um, Another thing is cycle layers, and that's something we've talked about a lot before, but for example, this heart animation, let me go back to the scene really quick. When I press the four key, it plays this four frame heart animation that appears over Red Monster's head. Um, and that is just a sequence in here. I've got my heart group. Let me turn that on so you can actually see it. And it's just four frames of animation, just four layers in this Photoshop file. One, two, three, four, and they're all showing up at the same time, but you get the idea. And then there's this little like Legoish brickish block thing looking next to it. And that means that I've added a behavior to it. So with heart selected, I can just go over here to behaviors 
and add a cycle layers behavior. And that's what I've done here. And it basically is just a rule set of what's going to happen and how I want to play through this sequence of layers. So I'm saying when this is triggered, I want to move from the bottom to the top. So one, two, three, four, and in that order from you know the bottom to the top. Um, I wanted to advance every three frames. I tried it at one frames and it felt like it was going too fast, so I stuttered it down to three instead. Um, I only wanted to cycle once. And you have all these different options. I'm using that a lot, a lot with key triggers and cycle layers. And we just did a tutorial about this about one or two months ago. It has a Fox character on the front on the OK Samurai YouTube channel. So um, that's really helpful for learning how to do these sort of things. And if you learn those two tricks, key triggers and cycle layers animation, the world is your oyster. You can do so many different things. It's really cool. Um, the next thing uh, that I wanted to show is how we're actually streaming this. Uh, so I am uh, basically using uh, OBS Studio, which is a free open source, uh, open source software thing that you can get. Um, so let me move this uh, down into this window so you can see it. And we got kind of inception windows going on here, but you get the idea. Um, and this is the program that I'm using just to broadcast and live stream stuff. So um, right now it's going to be showing you know this this window. I can switch to Red Monster full screen, and now you should be seeing Red Monster talking again. And then it can switch back, and it shows this app. Um, and then you can also do other stuff, like if you had a you know a video uh, video game or something like that you wanted to play, you could have your character in the corner um, and have them talking and interacting as well. So here, Red Monster and I are kind of moving at the same time, um, talking together at the same time. Um, and there's some cool stuff you could do with that. Like for example, um, currently, and this is Mac only currently, but we are working on a Windows solution for this. Um, if I went into my puppet, I think I have a red monster scene here. So let's switch the scene to red monster. Um, so now I just have my red monster character. And now if I go to the stream, now I have a little transparent red monster at the bottom. Um, and so this is really cool. This would allow me to, you know, have kind of that transparent green screen style look at the bottom uh, while I'm acting. So this opens up a number of really cool creative possibilities. Um, and I think people have only started to just started to scratch the surface of what you can do with this sort of stuff. It's a very powerful um, concept. So um, really cool stuff. Uh, that, and we were continuing to work on more and more ways to make live animation um, pretty interesting. So um, stay tuned. Lots of cool stuff is on the way. All right. So that's a basic overview um, of what we're working on and kind of how this was done. Um, hopefully that's helpful. And uh, I will, um, you know, be answering more stuff and, and uh, tips videos coming out. But uh, this is a quick overview. I'm going to send it back to Red Monster for the last seven minutes or so of the show. Um, it sounds like this has been pretty successful. So we'll try to do these in the future more um, if people are interested in them. And uh, we'll, we'll do more. So thank you very much. And I'm going to send it back to Red Monster. OK, thanks, Dave. Uh, I noticed that my voice kind of sounds like you, but then a little bit weirder. Uh, I don't know what, what's up with that, but okay. All right. Uh, well, back to the last well, seven minutes of questions or so. So uh, get those questions in last minute if you can, and I will try to answer as many as I can. Uh, let's find out. Lots of people asking about green screen and how to do that on Windows. Uh, to you, I would say stay, stay tight or, or, you know, Listen, uh, wait, wait a little bit longer. We're working on some really cool stuff for you. Um, just hang in there. Uh, let's see what else. Um, <clears throat> think, saying great idea of the keyboard with symbols. Yep, I think that's very helpful. Very cool to be able to do it with all these different things. Very easy to know what I'm gonna be doing at any given time. Oh, what else, what else? Uh, also asking about uh, my pets. Do I have any pets? Uh, yeah, I've got a blue beta fish, and his name is Bluefish. I'm not very good at names. I'm Red Monster. I got Bluefish. That's that's it. Uh, what else are people asking? My favorite movie. What do I think will win the Oscars? Uh. I would say Manchester by the Sea, probably. I think it's a triumphant modern take on the classic dramatic tragedy guided by Casey Affleck's haunting portrayal of Lee Chandler. I like Trolls, too. That, that, was, that was pretty good. Uh, what else? 
What's in my character animator coffee mug? Uh, very, very strong coffee. I'm very, very caffeinated right now. Extremely. So, are my are my eyes bulging? That's usually that's usually a sign that I've had too much coffee. Digital Puppets is asking, is La La Land any good? Yes, I quite enjoyed it. I uh, I thought Ryan Gosling was uh, uh, transcendent his performance, and uh, and yeah, I thought the whole cast did a really really good job. I but I like singing and dancing, you know. It's it, it, I'm, I'm a sucker for that stuff. So any any of those type of movies are are great. I have yet to see most of the Oscar nominated pictures though, so <clears throat> excuse me, I got quite a lot to to see. Um, Jeremy is asking if I can give a shout out to his fiance, Aaron. What up, Aaron? Shout out. You're getting a shout out. Much love. Much love from Jeremy. You got it. Uh, yes. Uh, what else are people? Luis is saying greenies from Mexico. Hey, welcome. I love Mexico. I, uh, I once went to the, uh, where did I go? Oh, Ushmal, Ushmal and Chichen Itza and climbed the uh, the temples there. Very, very cool place. Love it. I felt like I was Indiana Jones. It was awesome. But no flying boulders came and tried to flatten me. If I get flattened, I look like this. Not very pretty, I gotta say. Okay. Uh, what else are people saying? Uh, someone is saying zero is saying, please man, kiss me. Mm, well, I don't know that I can do that virtually, but I can give you lots of love and hearts right here. So, there you go. I love you too. I love everybody. Uh, what else? Only have a couple more minutes. Uh, someone is asking why I have such a weird voice. <laughs> well, uh, that's the voice I was born with. Uh, but, you know, all cartoon characters kind of have weird voices, right? Mickey Mouse, you know? He's like, oh, hi, boys and girls. I'm Mickey Mouse. Right? That's, that's kind of weird. Uh, it, 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 cartoon characters have weird voices. That's, that's how it goes. And I guess I'm just, I'm just part of the pack. Uh, what else? Um, someone asking, John's asking if we would have a character animator contest where people can submit a... 30 second video and have voting and judges on the best character animator uh, you know short that you make that could be fun um, maybe we could do something like that I don't know good idea um, <clears throat> let's see what else J July or Julie is asking about uh, how to put everything in a background behind your puppet basically you can just bring in as many PSDs or AI files as you want so this background was actually a completely different uh, Photoshop file here, Dave, I'm going to take it back to you. You want to show how that works? Oh, thanks, Red Monster. Appreciate it. Look how that was a really nice segue, wasn't it, guys? Okay, so <laughs> here's how I did it. Um, basically, there is a background here that I created um, called Red uh, RM Live BG, I think. Let me try to put this on. And you'll see it's got all this crazy stuff right now on it. But basically, I've got several different things happening here. I've got a camera. And this has cycle layers, that thing I was telling you about earlier, but it's set to advance every 500 frames. So that's why you're getting a camera change. Every 500 frames, uh, it's going to change to a different camera shot. So I have a um, mid medium shot, and then a wide shot, and then a close-up shot. And Red Monster is in each of those shots. And then there's little cards and stuff that are showing up that are saying live and Red Monster, you know, tweet this or whatever. Um, that's another cycle layers on top of it. So you can have as many of these things in a composition and just kind of move them over top of each other um, to create this, you know, kind of diverse effect. And you'll notice in the background, I have all these other extra things. If you're looking really closely, um, there's smoke coming out of the coffee cup. That's a cycle layers animation that plays every 300 seconds or so, I think. Shooting star that appears very rarely, I think every 800 frames. Um, and then some blinking stars in the background too. So again, about a live show, it's all about keeping things interesting and diverse. 
Um, I was working on this guy like till midnight last night trying to add more and more stuff and it's really hard to, you know, you just try to keep adding more things into your character um, and make them as cool as possible. And this is a work in progress. If I keep doing this, you know, the next one I'll have 40 keyboard triggers and cooler stuff. Um, and that's a great thing. You invest time in a character and then it really pays off. You've got this wide range of emotions and expressions and cool things that you can do. Um, so. That's that. I'm going to send it back to Red Monster to say goodbye, but thank you everyone for watching, and uh, it's very much appreciated, and let's send it back to him. All right, Dave. Everybody, it has been so awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, we will put this video, uh, this project, in the video description below so you will know exactly how we did everything here. Um, so you'll be like, oh, I don't know how we did it, and then you'll say, oh, that's how we did it. Uh, I'm just using gratuitous use of uh, key triggers now. Just are there any that I forgot? Uh, I did my hearts. I did my questions. I did this. I did that. I wore glasses. I made fire coming out of my mouth. I got fire on my head. I did a hadoken. Hadoken. Uh, I did a straw out of my cup. Oh, that only works in the close-up view. I did angry eyes, worried eyes, uh, squinty eyes. This. I blinked. I had an open mouth. Uh, X's. I don't think I did that. I did swirly eyes. Small eyes, big eyes. Oh, here's the straw. There we go. Uh, delicious. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching. Take care, and I will see you next time on Red Monster Live. Bye.